What's up, guys? How are you? Welcome back. It's your host, your boy, Hebon, coming at you with another episode of Toys in My Closet. And today we have a special review, as you see in front of me. I didn't really know, didn't even really get a notification. It just showed up out of nowhere. And to my surprise, we have the brand new Mondo Battle Cat. And as you can see in the artwork, he's on top He-Man with the battle armor He-Man. So I thought it would be appropriate to kind of review him next to his compatriot and companion, the ultimate deluxe He-Man with battle armor. Now, quick disclaimer, this battle armor He-Man is actually a defective one. I'm waiting on the new buff. Uh, it's actually on its way as I'm doing this review now. I waited for almost a year or I think eight months. Had not received it. Mondo just got in touch with me because I sent them an email and they actually sent it out. And as a, I mean, complimentary, I guess, apology, they added a $50 credit toward your, toward your next purchase on top of the replacement, which I think it's pretty cool. Now, <clears throat> I don't know how I'm going to be able to really sit him down on the saddle because he pops out real easy, but I'm going to try my best. But this is how he looks next to the box, and we all know that he is a 12-inch scale figure. So that should kind of give you an idea of how massive the box is. And as you can see on the box, it has his beautiful, beautiful artwork. I don't know who did the artwork, but it looks absolutely stunning. So what we'll do real fast is move He-Man out of the way really fast so we can take a closer look at the packaging. And you see really nice, it has that nice hues of pink with purple that turns all the way to lavender and actual purple. And these are pictures of skeleton warriors. Now, I do not know if that's a maybe preview of some figures that they might do later on with Mondo as far as build the figures. But if they do, that would be pretty freaking awesome if you ask me. So I'm going to pull the box a little closer and it is distant from me. And you see here we have the Mondo seal of authentic authentication right here in this nice transparent and glistening look. The top of the box has a nice font here in green that says Battle Cat, as you can see, and then it has some legal leaves. It says one sixth scale. Then the, this would be the bottom, so as you see, and then it has some other. Let's see. On this side, again, this side, there's a font also that says Battle Cat, and then the back of it is just here plain little synopsis it says powered the by the power of grayskull it says the fearsome battle cat he-man's trusted friend and faithful companion is feared throughout all of eternia raging into battle with he-man on his saddle battle cat is a formidable op opponent to skeletor and all the threat the threatened peace in in eh, and all that threatens peace in Eternia. Sorry about that. Saved and as a cub by Prince Adam, Cringer becomes his trusted friend as they grew up side by side. Battle Cat, Prince Adam and Cringer were bestowed the power of Grayskull, allowing them both to transform into their heroic alter egos. He Man and, the ba and Battle Cat together. They fight against all evil as two warriors that vow to protect Eternia. And as you can see, it's a really nice synopsis. Pretty much what it is, legal is here, the Mondo website, and seal of authentication as well. So we're going to turn this around. You see that it's a beautiful artwork again. I don't know who's responsible for this art. I got to look around the box to see who it is. But whoever did it, it's a beautiful box and par for the course. Pretty much very similar to all the other existing models thus far. For example, I'll show you guys the He-Man one that came with the Deluxe He-Man. And this is his box, as you can see. Same type of style and artwork, but absolutely stunning work that they do. Mondo's packaging is really, really nice. 
and they also try to go far and beyond to give you a nice premium feel and value with the packaging. So much so that the reality is you don't really want to throw the packaging out. So now, without further ado, let's go and dive right in. Let's unbox this bad boy. Let's see what he has to offer. What's good, what's not good, and hopefully uh, we'll enjoy what's inside and, you know, have some fun. So sit back, relax, enjoy a digital drink, and maybe, just maybe, I could make your afternoon or night or morning or evening, whatever it is, a little bit ba better and a little bit more pleasant with my review and my overlook of the brand new Mondo 1-6 scale Battle Cat from Mondo. I'll see you guys in the blink of an eye. Real fast, guys, this is what he comes in, the styrofoam. Just to show you the amount of detail Mondo puts in, it has a little logo in the styrofoam, within the styrofoam that says Mondo and their uh, site or brand. So what we have to do here is kind of lay it across. I did open it prior to this release just to make sure everything was in order and there was nothing damaged or defective that I had to return it. And then when you pull it out, it comes like this. It comes with all this, you know, wrapping nice and secure. Obviously, I didn't have to cut nothing because of the fact that I did it previously before that. And there you have it. There is Battle Cat laying down. As you can see, he is a very big piece. And I'll tell you right now, he's very, very heavy. Very heavy. Very heavy. So I'm going to pull him out <clears throat> carefully, like so. <clears throat> Just to show you guys, but I'm going to pull them out and put them on the side, just so you guys can see the rest of what it came with. It's here, really fast. And you see that he has all of these accessories. So he basically comes first with a small scale of printers. As you can see there, and maybe I'll bring him a little closer. Ranger looks really awesome. Let's turn on this little light. There you go. I hope you guys see this really good. You see how nice and detailed he is. He is a static piece, almost like a statue, but he's made out of plastic. So you can see how cute he looks sitting down in all of his little cuteness of Cringer. And the line of paintwork is really done really well all the way down to the tail. So there is Cringer, the first piece that he comes with. Lay it there. One of the alternative heads that it brings is none other than his face by itself without the mask in all his menacing glory. And that's because the face that comes with the mask on him is not removable. Which I guess is kind of not cool, but they give you another head, so I guess that makes up for it, right? But look at that. Beautiful teeth, wonderful coloring. His eyes have a sheen to them, like a real animal looking at you. A little pink and kind of lavender on the tip of the nose. The, the jaw is articulated. As you can see, the tongue work, line, or you know, the paint job, the actual teeth, the black outlines like real cats, the yellow across the mane of his face, his hair, looking really menacing and really amazing, and then the ears as you can see there. The detail and the level of paint job and quality is absolutely stunning. You know that they put a lot of work and love into this. So moving along, we have also an alternative head, and this is to pay homage and respect to the 2000X version of Battle Cat. And as you can see there, ooh, there goes the helmet. That was not fun. There goes the helmet in all of its glory with the nice patina, with a burgundy wash and black, with the gold, with you see the accents going in right there, and the accents of the gold are blending in from the burgundy to gold. All the scuff lines from battles, you see the eyes again, painted really well. The same face, but with the different helmet. And then you see the dressing on the side with the plates, looking really, really, really nice. All that nice and wash and black weathering looks absolutely stunning. And this again is for the 
homage and to let you know that it's just like, and again, his jaw also articulates really nice and it's nice and sturdy, not too tight, but not too loose. Uh, but again, this is homage to the 2000X dressing of Cringer. And finally, but certainly not least, let's take a quick look at the last piece that he brings. Okay, and that is none other than the portrait of Cringer when he's an adult. So you can place this head on top of him to make him look like Cringer in his Cringer form as an adult, not a baby like the first one that I showed you, and the actual body. So you see that it looks really good. Again, he has the nice, gentle, kind eyes with the little snaggle tooth in the front there. You see the highlights and the blends of the beige, actual yellows and grays that look, actually comes out more gray on the camera, but in reality in front of me, it's more of a yellowy color, like a light yellow. Really, really light, light yellow. And you see the lines again, the line work and the paint work is absolutely stunning and the eyebrows as you see. So you can tell and you see the washes from the top, on the cheeks, and the top of his nose, in the mouth, and this mouth does not open. This is a static pose. Because that's usually how Cringer was depicted in the cartoon and filmation. So, again, you can see that uh, Mondo put a level of love and detail to this to give you uh, a feel and the value of what they actually, uh, of what you actually paid, right? For $500. Because this was a $500 piece. This is a premium piece. Altogether, don't get it twisted. It's not a cheap piece. So it has to be treated like so. It is Mondo's version of a hot toy piece. Or like, you know, if you have, let's say, a, uh, you know, a hot toys uh, vehicle, right? If you will. Like if you had a hot toys vehicle from, let's say, a Batman or something like that. Well, this is He-Man's vehicle, his steed. And basically, He-Man without Battle Cat really doesn't make sense. So, it looks like it's not much, but each one of these heads, the level of detail and how they have a lot of weight to them also, is a lot. So, you, you can tell it's actual quality. So, there it is as far as what he brings. So, what we'll do now is take another quick pause, and now we'll take a look at actual Battle Cat, the premier piece to this entire set. Okay, guys, and here is Battle Cat in Cringer form. I decided to do Cringer first because the head swapping, you know, obviously as we go along, I can show you the differences. And here are the pieces that he brings that form him into Battle Cat. As you can see, we can start with the saddle. And the saddle looks really, really gorgeous. It has all these levels and points of articulation in the actual saddle. You see all this yellow line and gold with burgundy. There's cats all over the actual artwork on top here. A lot of levels of detail. The gold blending in from burgundy to gold. On the other side, you see here the saddle with the leathery, leathery look. And it has also that kind of... Uh, weathering to it like it's warm from years right you see the actual uh even cat going along the saddle in the back on the harness as well over here all these details these little dots and points of pins of gold and you see all that beautiful beautiful uh shade and you know weathering of black with the gold and on the top part of the saddle the leathery look of the actual saddle itself when it sits down really really nice and it has weight to it, it has a beautiful material and then the strap that goes in the bottom to actually put it on him so you see that's the saddle there that he brings and he brings the two actual uh, guards for his legs the front of his legs with the actual spike coming out on the side with gold and burgundy as well these gold points there that and the strap in the back 
And this slides just right off. It, you can just take off his foot and it makes it really easy to have him here in ginger form. So that, these look really nice and fitting. And then obviously we have his uh, main portrait, which is the classic battle cat as we know him. And this looks absolutely stunning as well. Really beautiful work of weathering with blacks and gold again. In the burgundy, you see all the pieces of gold, the eyes shimmering right through the little holes that give him that realistic, real eyes of an animal or of a cat in this case, right? The mouth is also articulated with the paint line on the top and the tongue, absolutely really well done. With the point of beak, see there? Classic, classic, classic. And all that detailing in the back where you see also cat's design there, uh, which makes it look more ancient and kind of majestic and, and old, right? Which is really, really a nice attention to detail and another level of realism to make it more realistic. And then, of course, now we have, you know, Cringer himself. We'll move these pieces over in Cringer form. And he's really, really big. There's the face again. And then all the line work around him that was done is really, really nice, as you can see. And so, as far as articulation, he has a piece up here, which kind of moves a little bit that way, but it's tight, nice and tight. And then the headpiece, the headpiece comes off kind of easy, but not really. Uh, it's just that it's a plug system, as you can see, that comes right out. So when you move it, it comes out kind of easy. I guess they did it so people wouldn't have a hard time changing it and removing it. But you can move his head like so, and down. You can hear the squeaking. <laughs> He has three points here on the, his actual body. You can see that it moves up, down, left, right, in the back as well. He's very heavy, so pardon me. And you can move it left and right to make him do dynamic poses. And then his tail is real gummy, rubbery, but you can kind of move his bendy, as you can see very bendy and this part of the legs kind of pop it kind of comes out like so sorry guys comes out like that and then this part here moves forward moves up like that you can bend it here mid midpoint on the back part ball joint on the actual toes left and right on both sides the toes in the front do not articulate, but the front ones do. And the front goes out that much. And forward, like so. It goes forward, so if you want to put them like he's laying down, you can. You see the pink details in the bottom of his toes, like a real cat. Real animals, each of the toes have point of articulation, as you see there. Really, really cool. Uh, and then he has a joint here where it bends this way forward. It's kind of hard though. Let me see if I can get it. Oh, there we go. Like I said, it's really stiff. Because he's straight right out of the packet, you see there. And then you can bend it back like so. And so I'm going to put him here. I can use laying down, kind of. In a laying down position, like cats like to do. Let me see if I can get it right. Put it this way, and that way, that way. Put this like this. Let me put his head on. Boop, boop. Slide it on. Move him this way. Make it look like he's kind of. How you call it? Like he's kind of sitting down, relaxing a little bit. You guys get the idea. It's not perfect, but you get the idea. You can do that. So let's bring in my only cringer that I have as comparison 
tubing, which is the one from Classics, and that's the one here. Let's see if I can fit them in. There you go. And you can see the scaling even for Classics being seven inches. And he looks microscopic next to this one. So <laughs> that gives you an idea of how big he really is. So there you go. There is the articulation and the cringer form. So now what I'll do is I'll put in the rest of the harness and change it and swap it out and make it look like his alter ego. And we'll put him in the saddle and do some more comparisons. All right, guys, and here we have it. Here is the star of the evening, and that is none other than Battle Cat. And Battle Cat, as you see, in all of his glory, how he looks. And this guy is... is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful piece of work. You can tell a lot of love went into this. You can tell that this is absolutely high quality at its finest. And I guess it's something that you just have to have on in front of you that you can touch it to understand why it cost the $500 dollar. $500 price point. This is amazing. This thing is beautiful. It's a piece that I know for a fact, if you have the proper care, the proper display, it's going to last you an eternity. It's going to last you forever. And you can pass it on to your kids and your kids' kids and your grandkids, and they can cherish it and keep it for years to come. It is that good. Now, do I have some issues with it? At the moment, the only issues I have is that the head pin is very um, kind of straight. Not really. It doesn't have like a clipping mechanism. I wish it had a clipping mechanism where you can press a button and maybe let it go because it comes out fairly easy. But again, this is not something that's meant to be played with. This is a premium piece. This is something that you display so that it can catch the eyes of anybody that walks into your display room. And, you know, from time to time, you maybe pose them in a particular way, but this is not meant to be played with. So the reality is, no, you don't really have to probably worry about it because the truth is, is you're probably going to put it there, display them, and the head is never really going to pop out, right? So to speak. And I'm trying to turn it where I can turn his head. I guess I see this is how, this is exactly what I'm talking about. It kind of slides out really really easy. I'm trying to turn it, but it turns the head this way. And you see, he looks absolutely glorious. He looks great, guys. He looks really, really nice. I can't stress enough how beautiful this piece is. Um, I mean, I hope that this is an issue that is not with everyone's um, battle cap, but I've seen a couple and it did the same thing with the head, it just slides off really easy. So what I'm thinking about doing myself, um, I'm thinking about uh, getting in touch with Mondo and letting him know if there's any way that maybe they can replace the body so that it can be, you know, don't come off as easy. Or if not, maybe just put some nail polish on the peg itself, let it dry, give it a couple of coats, really nice and thick and then it'll stay there and won't slide off as easy that's a nice solution without any damage to the figure it will not create any damage whatsoever it just looks gorgeous guys and if you're a he-man fan that grew up with the toys right from the very beginning the way that i did and you see this here i just feel really really blessed that i'm still alive and that i was able to purchase this pay for it slow and have it in my possession because this is a blessing guys even though it's a maybe a, a toy for some or maybe something that's stupid for others but the reality is this is a blessing because this is not something you can just get overnight without shelling out a good amount of money and making sacrifices and long-term commitments right so i'm very happy and i'm very grateful to god first and foremost and to my family for dealing with me with my patient and being patient with me and allowing me to get these things even though we got other things that we take care of as well because you know I, I really really love this and this brings a lot of nostalgia to my head and memories of when my mother was alive 
when I first got my first battle cat. Um, it was absolutely an amazing moment in my life as a child. So I'm going to bring in uh, his compatriot, He-Man, right next to him. And you can see how he looks side by side. Again, this looks absolutely fantastic. This looks so beautiful. Now, I'm going to try to sit He-Man on top of him and see how he looks. But I'm going to do a pause because I know the He-Man might fall apart. And I don't want that to be in the video and it just looks all goofy. So give me a minute. I'll be right back. And here we go, guys. There is Battle Cat with He-Man on top of him. And like I suspected, because He-Man is very, very, very loose. Uh, he just keeps popping off. It was a nightmare just to try to get mine. That's the uh, God honest truth. So, the reality is, I hope that with the new buck, all that will be uh, gone. I don't have to worry about it. Uh, I was going to try to change He-Man's armor and accessories and clothing to give him the original look, but it's just not worth the hassle, to be honest. Uh, you guys, it's really easy. So... Let's put them this way in front so you guys can see. You can see that. Um, he looks great, guys. He looks really, really awesome. Um, let's see if I can show you. Kind of turn him around little by little. Let me show you. I have a spinner, but I have an, an imaginary spinner. There you go, guys. There he is, in all of his glory, looking absolutely majestic. He looks incredible, he looks incredible. Uh, this is very, very beautiful piece. I can't imagine that Skeletor with Panther would look any least better. Uh, Panther looks incredible, especially that it was a flat one. I think it's gonna look absolutely stunning. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that because $500 back to back for two pieces because that does come out in November or the pre-orders go up in November. I doubt it. I'll get it. But if for some miracle something comes in and I can, then I'll try. But if not, I'll just be happy with Battle Cat at least and He-Man with his teeth. So what I'm going to do now is take another quick pause and bring in all of the comparisons with other Battle Cats. And here we go, guys. Here it is. The many, many faces of Battle Cat and He-Man. Now, to be quite honest, I'm still missing one. The only one I don't have at my disposal is my 2000X Battle Cat with He-Man of 2000X. And that's because I haven't put him away. And I didn't want to go through the hassle just to bring him out. But as you can see, I do have my classics here with battle armors from classics the origins with origins he-man with the actual classic vintage face because there was two runs for him remember this is the actual uh funko pop funko pop he-man on battle cap as you can see then i have the revelations he-man here with revelations he-man i did swap out the head or another head because I'm trying to get a custom head that looks more like the Revelation Skull. This is the Royal Subjects Flocked version of Battle Cat. This is the Flocked version. As you can see, you probably can't tell, but it's Flocked with Battle Armor hanging on here. Then I put the Mega Construct, which is the Mattel version of Lego. And that's that Mega Construct with the battle armor he-man on top as well I try to keep it a consistent theme of battle armor he-mans with the exception of origins of course in revelations and Funko Pop. so we got a mixture of both now that is pretty much my comparison with all the battle cats that i have at my position this not including obviously the 2000 next like i said but again it's because i haven't put away and it's just oh my god it's a hassle i don't want to deal with it so there you go, guys. There is my comparison. And then we'll do uh, maybe a quick... Um, I'll show you a quick view of what Battle Cat looks like with the other two alternative heads 
just so you guys can take a look and see what it looks like. All right, guys, and there it is. Here is the other portrait. Look at that. Wow. Now I'll pull back. As you can see, these are the other ones. Without the harness and the head, difference is, with the Mondo, you have to, a whole separate head. And this head seems to hold a lot better for some reason. But there it is, there's the head without the actual harness in the regular form. Up a little bit, like so. And there he is, that's what he looks like. Looks fantastic, I think that's great. So now let me show you the last and final head. All right guys, and here is the final head. This is the 2000 Next Homage. And again, it looks stunning. Really, really nice. I wish I had the 2000 Next Battle Cat at my possession so that I can show you guys the reference or point of reference. But either way, I hope you guys know. If anything, what I'll try to do is I'll try to put a picture next to this or after this or in between this of the actual 2000X Battle Cat figure toy. So what I'll do is I'll do a pause right now so I can put a picture of it and then I'll come right back so you guys can see. And there it is, guys. I hope that was a little point of reference. Since I didn't have it, I guys give you an idea. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to basically my final thoughts and the end of the review. And here you go, guys. Here's a comparison, at least, that you can have an idea of the two little baby cringers. <laughs> there you have it. Little baby cringer with the Mondo version and baby cringer from Classics that came with the uh, uh, Queen Marlena figure that also had the dress up stuff. So just so they give you a little idea, a little, little comparison. So there you have it and they look really cute next to each other and pretty accurate because this looks very much like Filmation and so does that one when you look at him in baby form. This is baby form and this is when he's already older or a little older. So I hope you like this comparison and let's move it right along. All right, guys, and here we have it. Here is the Masters of the Universe. One six scale Mondo Battle Cat. And as you can see, this is all the things he came with in all of his glory. And again, this is an absolutely incredible, incredible piece. To be honest with you, it gives you so many display options a lot of replay replayability value if you want to play with him pose him this thing is incredible but you need a lot of patience because it does act up it's a little finicky especially with the heads how they slide off and i think it has to do with that type of peg that they use i hope going forward they'll change it because it is a little finicky i do not like the head peg. that's my biggest complaint to gripe and to be honest, it's what lowers this piece from being a perfect 10 out of 10. Now, are you getting your value and your money's worth? 100%. This is worth every penny, and you can tell when you have it in your hand, when you're holding it, touching it, feeling it, you can tell it's a premium piece and something that's going to last you a very long time. This is a Masters of the Universe fan's dream come true to have a piece like this this is just absolutely incredible and now they're supposedly going to make a jet sled and even a horse for scarecrow that glows in the dark oh my jesus i, I can only imagine what that's going to look like or what's going to cost whatever the case is i just hope that maybe i can get my hands on it because it's also a big piece to display so it takes a lot of real estate and you need space if you don't have the space you can't get all of the things because it's just impossible. Now, if you have the paint and space, by all means, knock yourself out. This is for the super rich because this piece really requires 
for you to buy multiple pieces, at least three of them, so that you can display them as Cringer, and you can display them as 2000X Battle Cat, and even perhaps if you wanted to get a fourth one with the with the actual head without the harness. You have so many display options, and you buy four He-Man Deluxe, and you know those go for like two, what, 75 each? So again, the super rich, I can't, that's the only thing I can actually say. But it's a fun piece, it's very beautiful to look at. After I display them, I know I'm not gonna touch them until maybe I move or something like that, but other than that, I'm not gonna touch them because it's just so immaculate and wonderful and just something gorgeous to look at. So guys, I hope you like my review. I hope it's not too long. I hope you had the patience and stood with me the entire time until the end because I know it's an investment to watch these videos and reviews and sometimes they could get a little bit boring, but I'll try to make it as fun as I can in the editing process and make it a little bit more intriguing. So, I haven't yet recommend it. If you didn't get it, try to figure out a way to get it. Uh, it's gonna be expensive in the third party market, but I wish you luck. Maybe somebody might sell it to you for a decent price. I only wish the best for everyone. You know, uh, everyone should have an opportunity and the ability to own something they love. I truly believe that. So guys, this is your host, Hebon, signing off with another episode of Toys in My Closet. The Masters of the Universe, one six scale battle cat from Mondo. I hope you guys love it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Give me a thumbs down if you did it. Share this video with someone you think might like it. As always, thank you for all of you to continue supporting my channel because without you, my channel would not be sustained and I would not be here. Also, if you want to follow me in any of the social media outlets, they're all down in the description below from Twitter to Instagram. I'm in every single platform known right now. You can follow me there. And if you guys ever want to donate something to the channel for me to highlight or review like this, I would be more than humbled, honored, and grateful to do so. All you would have to do is DM me on one of those social media platforms and we'll work out the particulars like address, how I can get it, you can get it to me, how I can return it to you, things of that nature. And lastly, but certainly not least, if you guys love what I do and love my channel and would like to see me grow and continue to do pieces like this and other things that might intrigue you, please understand I make no money out of this. I have no super chance. I have nobody you know, sponsoring me. I do not have a big following to give me any type of income. So if you want to help me out from the kindness of your heart because you like what I do, because you want to see me continue doing what I'm doing. You do not have to. It's not obligated. It's not mandatory. It's only if you want to do it, again, from the kindness of your heart. You can do so also with the information down in the description below with my PayPal and Patreon information. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Keep collecting, have fun doing it. But remember, be considerate to others because we're still in trying times. Until the next one, guys. Love you. See you then. Bye-bye.